here you can see four buttons uh, each button is given an id lab content white lab content height uh, background tint this color and padding text uh, text all caps is false text size is 20 sp and all the buttons are set in their position with constraint right now we are looking at the main activity kotlin file you can see that each button has a set on quick listener left button right button top button bottom button they all have a set on quick listener you can see inside the set on quick quick listener of the left button you can see there is an intent which has this uh, this as the first parameter and has another as the second parameter you can see that intent has this put, ex put extra and has key and has this left button uh, with this key um, I can access this value and you can see an extract activity function here which has intent as its parameter similar to the left btn you can see intent put extra start activity in other buttons but inside put extra they have defined value right button has right button as value top button has top button as value i can write something else inside the left btn set on quick listener you can see override pending transition it has its first parameter as slide enter left animation and second parameter as slide exit right animation the first one is an enter animation the second one is the exit animation so when i click on the left button it is supposed to enter left and exit right the other buttons also have their needed animations the animations are made in the anim folder you can see all the bottom left right top all has a pair of enter and exit animation i will open all the animations so that you can see the animations if you need to pause the video you can do that the another activity has a text view and it has a text view id you can see that content wrap content as as white and height text text size text all caps in here it is true you can see the text view is held at that position with constraints right now we are looking at the kotlin file of another activity inside here you can see i took the text view you can see multiple if else statements in the condition you can see intent dot get string extra and has this key string as its parameter this whole thing returns a value the value is assigned at the main activity you can see left btn right btn these are the values that are passed there in another dot kotlin file you can see the this value is being taken here and it is being checked whether it matches uh, with the value of left btn right btn top btn bottom btn and if the left btn is matched then the text left is assigned at the text of text view you can see left btn right btn top btn bottom btn these values are passed uh, 
according to the button that is clicked if the value here left btn is matched with the value here left btn then that left text would be assigned to text of text view so the text here would be set according to which button i clicked below on create function you can see the finish function which is a built-in function inside the finish function i have added some if else statements you can see the conditioning is similar to the ones on top but inside here you can see some animation being executed to remove the action bar of the top place you can go to the values then themes then themes again but the xml file set here in this place as no action bar